So we had to go all the way to Barbados for the uh, uh, taste of a roti. And we had this, had this beautiful uh, taxi driver by the name of Bernal who helped us from, from the, what's the name of this uh, airport? Right, the Adams International Airport. And we took us all the way to our hotel and we started talking about food and we got really engaged in, in, in understanding food. And so, give us a little brief history of Chafet. Yeah. It's nice and loud. Well, um, Chafet will only be found in Barbados. Chafet only found in Barbados. However, you told me this interesting fact that, that the owner of Chafet is not even a Beijing. Well, he's a Trinidadian businessman, and he lived here all his life. Born by the name of Elias Hallow. Elias Hallow. And so he, he lived in Trinidad. Yes. And decided to have this beautiful little franchise called Chefet and brought it to Barbados. And how many locations do they have in Barbados? Right now they have about 16 locations in Barbados, including one at the airport. And that's where we're going to have our, our lunch yes. today because um, uh, Bernal dropped us off and he's going to go on his way. And we're going to have lunch at Chefet. And you also said something about KFC. There's only two real key franchises in Barbados, KFC and Chefet. But what's this whole thing about KFC and Chafet? The difference between KFC and Chafet is that traditionally Chafet explores and gives Barbadian culture in the restaurant form. Whereas Chef Kentucky has to wait to be mass produced in order to give Barbadians what they think Barbadians need. Barbados is being represented by Chafet in its food, in its service, and most of all, the culture. Right, but you also said something about KFC stands for something. Keep from Chafet. Keep from Chafet. And we're going to try Chafet today, so thanks. No problem. This is great. Enjoy your stay. Thank you very right. much. It was nice having you in Barbados. Thank you. And you know what? It was, um, we're so happy that you were a driver today. Well, thanks again. That was Vernal, and he's going to just uh, make his... Are you kidding me? Did I just point at my wallet on the roof of the cab? Well, my wallet, I was using it as a tripod. You've got to be kidding. When am I gonna realize that that wallet's missing from my back pocket? I cannot believe I did this. Cannot believe I did this. Yeah. Sorry, his busy day, but we're gonna try Chef Fett. Chef Fett at the Barbados airport. We're looking forward to uh, tasting uh, this uh, wonderful meal that's uh, made uh, this franchise very popular in Barbados. So, Chefette's Barbados. Beautiful, packed, heavy envelope of, of authentic flavors. Super. Wow. That's, that's amazing. So you would think that you know after an hour and a half I would realize that my wallet's missing and uh, uh, from my back pocket. No, I was just too busy eating my roti, my chefette roti, and my creepy fries and my champagne cola. 
until we went through customs and as well as through through security where they had you stripped down with your you know taking your belt your shoes off and so on or I reached to my back pocket to my wallet and it wasn't there and I started freaking out ran through the airport you know uh, worried that I'd get shot because you never run through an airport until I found out that they found my wallet 